Hello everybody, it's Wee Dragon here, formerly known as Sir Weed Boy, uh, to all of those who have watched my old videos on recreating Vancouver. Now, I know I haven't made a City Skylines video in a while, and there's a lot of life reasons for that, you know, living in Vancouver, many of you can understand. But today was the announcement trailer for City Skylines 2. Now, I had been debating whether or not to pick up City Skylines um, again and recreate Vancouver, and I decided, yes, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that in the uh, next coming weeks. Uh, I already have a game plan and some mods uh, lists that I'm going to be working off of, but City Skylines 2 is exactly what I've been waiting for. Now, I'm hoping that I can compare Vancouver in the old City Skylines to the new one and maybe even fix some of the problems along the way. But City Skylines 2 has just got me really excited since the trailer just dropped a couple hours ago. I just watched it, and uh, needless to say, I'm extremely excited. I don't know how many times I'm going to say that, but the trailer here um, is really amazing. It's saying it's not actual gameplay, but they're not saying it's a pre-rendered cutscene, so this must be in engine um this must be in engine now there's been some debate as to whether or not the uh game engine is in ue5 and not ue4 now it's very likely that it's going to be in ue5 since that's pretty much what a lot of the um the uh youtubers who've been playing like uh, biffa and uh, city planner this is exciting because one thing that was pointed out was this little gas station here, the Golden Gas Station. Um, I actually remember seeing this as an asset on the Unreal Marketplace um, because it was a Quixel scan, I believe. Um, but another YouTuber pointed out, uh, City Planner, that this indeed could, um, uh, does confirm that this City Skylines 2 is made in unreal engine 5 um but a lot of youtubers have already been playing it something so that's really um that pretty much confirms it now a lot of this game seems to be building off of the incredible graphics engine of this unreal 5 story. <clears throat> as you can see here obviously this is not a pre-rendered cutscene these look like assets um in a game engine cutscene so that's exciting because that means that the graphics are going to look phenomenal. And I mean, they're not the most intense, intensely high poly count. Like as a 3D modeler and game developer myself, I can I can tell when something is of the uh, highest poly and when something is just made low poly for uh, efficiency's sake. But you can tell here um, that the animations for the people is very um very static which is okay because of course there's going to be millions of people in your city right um but another thing that kind of points this out to me is the poly of the buildings like they're very flat edges on a lot of them and that right there just shows to shows me that these are in-game assets that we're seeing now you can see a lot of the people look much higher res than in the first City Skylines, which has me excited. Um, I don't know if the windows are actually going to look like this in the game, but Unreal Engine, uh, it, it is very easy to make glass materials um, with refraction and uh, adding normals. I've, I've done it myself. You can do it in a way that isn't very taxing. Now, the rain effects here that it's trying to show... Um, I'm sure they're going to have that in the game because currently when it rains, yes, the ground does look wet and the rain does fall. But this looks like a lot better, so I'm excited for that. I don't know if the streets are going to look that amazing, but if they do, that's that's awesome. Um, of course, with Unreal Engine 5, there is the Nanite technology that basically makes high-resolution uh, assets optimized. Um, so when you're zooming away from a landscape, the, uh, for example, in the beginning here, when you're zooming away from a landscape, what it does is it optimizes the pixels, um, uh, of the actual, um, of the actual polys and then kind of renders them to like fractalized pixels and then just chunks them up. 
to improve the uh, the rendering speed. And uh, essentially, you're not r rendering the full poly of an asset. You're just rendering the pixels that are being viewed, which is an interesting thing, right? Um, that's why you can get such a big landscape here, but still you can see a lot of the details in the rocks, and it's very likely that those are nanite meshes, which is exciting because if we're thinking about in-game editing, um, you may be able to import your Quixel scans or any uh, photo scans that you've done on your own and import them into the game, and they're supported by the uh, Unreal Engine 5 nanite technology, which is exciting for me because that's one of the things that I've been planning to do um, was create assets for City Skylines. And, well, now that the City Skylines 2 trailer has dropped, I'm definitely going to be looking into making my assets in Unreal Engine 5.1 instead, um, which is going to happen because I've already made assets for uh, UE 5.1. Um, this right here, this screenshot, pretty much proves um, that it is an Unreal Engine 5 and not 4 because this would not look as good in Unreal Engine 4. And you can just tell here that the landscape is uh, a game asset, or at least I can tell. Uh, the water as well, I, it's not that hard to do water that good in game, so I believe it. Um, let's just look at this one more time. The seasons, right? I've seen many materials on the marketplace for Unreal um, that have this, uh, I don't know what to call it, but it's its basically like a masking effect where you can change um, a dry landscape into a snowy landscape like instantly, and you just change the, um, the speed of that. And you can also grow the foliage as well. So this is all possible in Unreal Engine 5. Way up high. So of course, there there are some parts that are mixed pre-rendered. Like this is pre-rendered for sure. And it's it's uh it's not clear if they're using the in-game assets in a pre-rendered scene. Sometimes it's it's really hard to tell, but you know, it's it's um it's definitely easy for a comping uh video editor to mash up a lot of the uh, pre-rendered assets with um, with in-game assets. Because, I mean, U UE5 looks that good. All right, so one last thing that I wanted to touch up on was um, the scale. So they're giving us a really big map here. I don't know if that means that they're going to add more tiles because currently with City Skylines, you have to download the 81 tiles mod um, or whatever the equivalent is nowadays in order to increase your uh, minuscule amount of tiles to something feasible. So you're not just making a portion of your city. You're making the whole city as long as your computer can handle it. So just this part here leads me to think that the entire, um, the entire city is going to be possible because they're showing New York here, right? Um, and, and they're not just showing... Uh, the central New York. They're showing all of it here, including the uh, New Jersey side. So this has got me excited. How big are they going to do this? I think it's going to be big. And it's coming out this year, so I'm, I'm very excited. Honestly, let me know what you guys think. Um, do you all... Are you all excited for City Skylines too? Are you literally like shaking in your chairs right now thinking about all the different cities that you can build because i know i am if you're also an asset creator does that excite you are you excited to uh put all the work that you've been doing in unreal engine 5 and place that into city skylines too because as a developer i i know i am so i, I really want to hear your thoughts both both asset creators and uh gamers how excited are you for this and if you're interested in City Skylines content from me, like even more, because I know some of you have said that, let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe so I know that you guys are interested in me making more of these videos. I will make them. I won't, I'm not lying. This is going to happen. I'm freaking excited. You can't stop me. So keep smoking those Skyline nugs and have yourself a great day.